Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today on the channel we're going to be featuring a team centered around G-Max Charizard and Alchemy. So you can see this team on the screen in front of you right now. As always, there will be a rental code at the end of the episode if you guys want to grab that and try this team out for yourself. It should be, like I always say, a lot of fun to play around with. Um, I always like the concept of using Alchemy. We've seen it used with G Max Lapras, but why not use it with Charizard? So we've got a really bulky Charizard here, supported by that Intimidate uh, hit on top, uh, with Support and Cast alongside it with the uh, the Dracovish, the Whimsicott, and the Duraludon as well. So it's a bit of a, a, a strange composition, but one I feel that does kind of work. So I hope we can get some good games out of it today. It's going to be exciting nonetheless. Uh, we've got the Charty Berry on the, the Charizard. And uh, we'll get straight into it and see how we get on. So I've been putting a bunch of teams together as well. So the next couple of weeks are going to be quite exciting, I think. The only thing I'm currently waiting on is getting my battle points for the end of this season, which will be in a couple of days, so I can buy some mints and actually get make use of some of the Pokemon that I've actually bred and got ready for putting into teams. So it's going to be good if there is teams that you would like to see or Pokemon featured in particular, do let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you do enjoy this content, remember to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe for more of this content, news and guides and all that jazz. So we've got a first opponent. They are playing a team of Excadrill, Tyranitar, Primarina, Incineroar, Dusclops and Tugricus. So it's quite a standard looking team. You've got the Sand Core there, uh, Trick Room mod, which kind of consists around probably the Tyranitar Primarina, support and cast of Incineroar with its Intimidate, uh, likes to parting shot things, and then the Follow Me Tugricus, which is kind of a support Pokemon, but also quite a bit of a threat. So uh, Titar not enjoying itself right now in front of the, the Tyranitar Excadrill, but um i still think it can do some work to be honest um i think what we'll do is we will lead alchemy charizard we'll go hit him on top and what else do we want um hmm. we want the fish fish uh probably not <laughs> uh duraludon's kind of nice with its assault vest here for sure so we'll go duraludon just got to be a little bit careful around the excadrill i think that's the the main thing here no Come on. Communication issue already? Already. I don't know if it's... I don't know which side it's from. I don't generally get touch wood. Many communication errors. Okay. Um. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I was kind of looking forward to getting into that match. Uh, we'll have a look at my opponent's team. Excadrill, Sash, Weakness Policy, Life Orb, Salt Vest, Your Light, Razor Claw. So, I mean, it's Kind of, yeah, here's there. Here's Dust Clops with Tara. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, very standard, what we kind of expected. Anyway, never mind. I may cut that out. I may not. You guys might enjoy seeing um, the details of that team. I don't know. It's so weird. I've never had that before. Never had the disconnect. And like I say, I wasn't too worried going into that one when it did show up. I generally don't really get any disconnects. Very rarely, very rarely. So, normally happens to me, but not again, not for me. Uh, okay, we've got our next opponent. Uh, playing Dragapult, uh, Butterfree, Rhyperia, Sylveon, Dusclops, and Arcanine. So, a little bit more of a variation on the last team. Not so standard. You've got kind of the standard stuff in Dragapult and Dusclops. Got to always worry there about the Shadow Sneak on the Dusclops procking a potential weakness policy on the Dragapult. Uh, you've got Beat Up as well as a combination from the Dragapult onto that Arcanine. So, something else to kind of watch out for. Uh, always got to be... Uh, very wary about Sleep Powder on the Butterfree. But that's the beauty about Alchemy with that Sweet Veil ability that we've got on it. It does give us the immunity to sleep. One of the reasons why I really like it, especially at the minute with Venusaur being so popular, uh, it's used quite a bit against against Charizard, especially with the Sun up uh, as a countermeasure there. So uh, even though we've not got Sun, it still, it still helps us out quite a bit. So I think I'm going to go with the same combo of Charizard Alchemy. What do I need to be really scared of here? I think probably the Rhyperia. Does Klopp setting up the Trick Room for sure. Uh, but we do have a way to cycle Intimidates to get around anything else. And then maybe, hmm. What's our last Pokemon going? And like Duraludon again is pretty decent here as our last Pokemon. <sighs> the fish isn't bad either. Um, I could be... 
I'm probably going to lean a bit more towards Duraludon. Um, Got to be careful around the Arcanine, particularly. Uh, obviously, the Rhyperia as well. But we do have Decorate, where we can probably nuke the Rhyperia, even if it maxes um, with Charizard. So, plus two um, max overgrow will probably get it. So, uh, that's positive for us, I guess. Okay, Dusclops and Butterfree. Really don't care what Butterfree does now. Um, I'm just going to try and nuke that, that Dusclops here. It's probably going to get the Trick Room up. That's the only issue, right? Um, but we do have countermeasures against these things. And the GMAX Wildfire is going to be super nice here. The only, the only thing you have to worry about a little bit would be potentially Rage Powder on the Butterfree. Pretty sure it's that that's Rage Powder. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Hopefully it doesn't go for it now. It, it, in my mind, it's like one of those moves where I'm like, did it actually get it this gen? Because I've really not looked at Butterfree at all this season. Um, and you're like, I know certain Pokemon lost certain moves, but I'm not sure if this one lost it. I'm probably sounding super dumb saying this right now, but I don't know. Okay, Sleep Powder, that's fine. Yeah, there's a Sweepy Veil. Yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. Okay. That's why it's so good. And then, yeah. So Charizard's really bulky in this team. It can take a bunch of attacks. It's got the Charlie Berry as well. And just give it a bit more staying power. And then, obviously, the uh, the Alchemy just outspeeds it by one point. Wow. Still only doing half to the Dusclops. But it probably will set the Trick Room up here. Um, It does mean that we're probably going to be able to get rid of it this next turn. Uh, if we want to. I don't really care what the Butterfree is doing. It's going to have to switch out. Now, do we make a call now? Uh... <laughs> to say, like, do we max Overgrowth into the Butterfree slot? Because if we do and we get the um, the right period on the switch in, that's pretty huge for us. Um, the other option is get rid of the Dusclops. And I think it's probably... Uh, probably got to... Yeah, we're probably better off getting rid of the Dusclops while we can. Um, and then just... Go Dazzling Gleam, I think. Yeah, just go Dazzle. Dazzle. Yeah, let's do that. Like I said, the Butterfree can't really damage anything on our side of the field. Like, it can it can certainly get chipped, but it's not going to be hitting us for super effective damage. It might have something like Hurricane. Uh, but there's the, there's the Rage Powder. Okay. I'm probably going to see a Pain Split. Yeah. Uh, and this does open the door up for my opponent to get their IP right onto the field now. Because we'll get rid of the, the Butterfree. We get a single target Dazzling Gleam off uh, with our Alchemy. And um, the thing is, like, do I worry about the, the Rhyperia coming in? Of course I do. Of course I do. Um, I don't like Rhyperia, especially if we've got a Charizard out in the field. But at the same time, we have got the Charity Berry. We have got our Hitmon top in the back. So they're big, kind of, they're big players for us. The issue is, I guess, if this Dusclops has Bulldoze, which you would imagine it has, right? Pain Split, Bulldoze, Trick Room, Nightshade. I would imagine there, there it's set. So what we could potentially do is go Max Guard. And then we can... Mm, if we Max Guard here though, then we lose our ability to Solid Beam. So I think we have to go all in. Because we haven't got the Sun up. That's the problem. So, we got Max Overgrowth. So we'll put them on plus one. Max Rock Pole plus one will probably get Charizard, even with the Charty Berry. I think we've got to go for it, even though we're in a really difficult position here because, like, this is the one thing that I had, like, a little bit of an issue with with the team. Obviously, wanting Automatic Sun would be great so Charizard can make use of that Max Overgrowth um, when it's not maxed. Because then, if we had that option, it would make this slightly easier. Yeah, so Rhyperia obviously, obviously going to be the, the Pokemon that does max here. Um, it'd be nice if the Rhyperia even suspected that Charizard goes max guard and they attack into our hip on top here. That would be, that would be perfect. Uh, they are going to probably bulldoze proc uh, eject button. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get, we'll get Alcrimi back in. Because we can kind of reset the weakness policy boosts anyway with 
uh, without Hitmontop switching in the next turn. That would have been a nice thing to do, and it maybe would have been the better thing to do, just to keep Charizard around. Um, I really don't have much hope for it surviving here, but I could be super surprised. And I wouldn't be too surprised if my opponent kind of predicted us to go Max Guard here into the Charizard uh, and attack into the Alchemy slot. Doesn't look like they're going to do that, though. Oh, they are! Ha! Huh. <laughs> well, yeah, there's logic in that turn, because we should we should be max guarding there. We should be. Um, so we get, like, super lucky with this turn. Um, I, but, I mean, we get rid of the Rhyperia, and Charizard's put in so much work uh, <laughs> already. I'd like to know the calc on that. I really would like to know the calc. It's not something I... I'd calc for at all. Like plus one max rock fall with the Charty Berry. Uh, if any of you guys want to do that, um, obviously um, uh, there will be a poker paste of the team as well so you can see Charizard's exact spread, uh, which will help. Now, there's not many turns of the Trick Room left now. Um, we do lose Alchemy. But we do get a Hitmontop back in, which is the nice thing about the Eject Button. Um, Grassy terrain up, gonna heal Dusclops a little bit. And we still have Duraladon in the back, so we're not in the worst spot ever. But a Heatwave should take the Dusclops out. Oh, it's Sylveon. Okay, so. I mean, having Duraladon in the back is ideal for this situation. We should be able to close this one out pretty, pretty easily. Uh, the Trick Room should end after this next turn, I think. Um, and as long as we hit a Heatwave here, we should be able to kind of do enough damage, especially plus two. Uh, to kind of clear the board. So we'll just heat wave and then we will go for that fake out into Sylveon. Um, yeah, I think the big deciding thing there would be whether or not that, that the Charizard is able to get the, the knockout there or not. Uh, sorry, survive the, the rock fall there. Um, it's something I should be doing. And apologies if you can hear like buzzing in the background. Uh, I, it's so hot here today. I had to have the window open. So like some of the neighbors are doing like uh, housework and soaring and things. So if there's buzzing, I do apologize. I'll try and clean up the audio the best I can. Okay, so we get a nice win anyway to kick us off with today. Hopefully we get another match up pretty quickly. And then we can feature at least one more game with this team before we see it cnara to it and let you guys free with it and have a play around with it and i i still think there's a lot of work to do with this team in particular um and maybe some of the selections aren't great but they do give the team different options uh, especially with the dracovish there and the whimsicott um it, if you do play around with it and do try and and change things do let me know how you're getting on with the team and the changes i always love to hear what your thoughts are and things like that on specific teams that i do publish so next opponent is playing dragapult snorlax duraladon the Indeedy, um, Melotic, and Toxtricity. Hmm. This is a kind of interesting team, isn't it? For sure. You've got the, the Snorlax and Deedee combination that is super scary. Super scary. Because you've got the, the redirection there. Um, uh, and the Snorlax kind of free to set up where it wants. It kind of makes uh, Hitmontop a little bit useless here. Um, Especially with the the, uh, the Alchemy there as well. Because um, the Decorate is just going to go into the redirection. Which makes it difficult to get Charizard kind of set up in this situation. Um, I'm just going to quickly take a look at Whimsicott. Because I can't exactly remember what set we've got on it. Safeguard, Fake Tears, Moonblast. Okay. Um, right, we need to be super quick. I think I'll go Charizard, Alchemy. Uh, we'll go Duraludon and we'll go Wimmy in this one. So we've got a bit of speed control. I feel like Duraludon could be good here uh, for the late game, especially if we can get a Tailwind up against the majority of things on my opponent's team. It does all right against. Uh, I think it's going to be very difficult to break this, this Snorlax. This is why we kind of probably have to rely on Charizard to take down the Indeedee turn one. Um, and then... Okay, well, we're not going to see the Snorlax come in. Still have to contend with the uh, the redirection now. Huh. I wonder if they worried about us maybe going uh, Dracovish or him on top as a lead. Uh, okay. We can't really... Hmm. I mean, we could go Max Airstream. 
uh, into Indeed, you get a bit of a speed boost. And go just dazzling gleam. Because it breaks a potential sash on the uh, Undidi. And then we should be able to get uh, the speed boost, which will give us a, a, a massive advantage for the rest of this game if we can pull it off. I do worry about the Melotic potentially going for um, Max as well. Um, it could coil though. Uh, but the, the beauty about if it does coil, like the Hypnosis, again, is not really an issue um, because of the Sweet Veil. So whether they kind of twig are twigging onto that already or not is another thing, or whether they're kind of like, let's just go for these hypnosis, let's put stuff to sleep. Um, but no, we're not going to see that. We are going to see the. It's going to be the melodic. It's going to go for it. It's uh, it's, it's going to go max. Uh, the water max move. So bad. I never remember the names of like the max moves. Okay, there's the follow me. Coming out. Uh, that's a gleam. Is that. Ooh, I don't know. You can never kind of gauge is it bulky indeed or not. Yeah, it's bulky. Yeah, well, we do get the speed boost, okay? So it's not the end of the world. Um, there's a map. I mean, we should take this. The rain is going to be set up, which isn't ideal. Um, we do just about take that. So whether or not we want to go for um, an attack into like we can't. They're gonna go. They're gonna go redirection again, for sure. Um, so whether or not we want to go like there's a couple of options we got here. We could go uh, decorate max overgrowth into the melotic. That would definitely get rid of it. We go. Um, Fake Tears, Max Overgrowth, into the Melotic. Uh, again, that would definitely get rid of it. But it's whether or not my opponent's going to go for the Follow Me, or like if they feel like, oh, well, we're just going to attack. We're not going to do anything but attack into... Um, are we go Max Wildfire? I think we go Wildfire. We'd be, be a little bit safer here and just go Dazzle again. Oh, we could have done it. We could have done it. This is what I was fearing. This is what I was fearing. Uh, okay, well, we get the Dazzling Gleam. We're not going to get rid of the Ndidi here. Uh, but we get the GMAX Wildfire. This will be enough to get the Ndidi. Um, the only reason I went for this was because I feel like whatever we did there, especially if Redirection comes out, we lose the Charizard. So at least if by doing this, we're getting the residual damage every turn. Hopefully this is into Alcree. It is! Okay, well, Charizard survives. He gets to see another day, so this is great news for us. So, Focus Sash coming in clutch there. Charizard going to kick around. We're going to be able to get that that Decorate and um, the G Max Overgrowth off this next turn. So that's going to be pretty good for us. Snorlax coming in. Um, all right. Well, I don't mind this too much because now we just go Max Overgrowth into Melotic. We go Decorate into Charizard, and that should be enough to get the Melotic. No! Hey, unless it does that. Unless it does that. That's the only thing. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Kind of asked for that. The Melotic is going to end its, um, its turns, its next turn. So, be interesting to see where the Snorlax goes. If it goes Belly Drum, even here. No, Rock Slide. <laughs> I don't think we take this, or do we? <sighs> no, unfortunately not. That would have been great if we had survived that with Charizard, but I mean, it's it's not the end of the world. We've still got Duraludon, um, and we've still got Whimsicott. Uh, okay. Now, is a Duraludon going to be... Is it going to be faster than um, the Melotic? Because if it is, there's a good opportunity for us to fake tears the Melotic and go for the Thunderbolt. Um, we do have body press that we can use against the Snorlax. It's whether or not we want a Tailwind here or not. Um, I think we've got Safeguard as well to get around the potential Hypnosis. Uh, I need to refresh. I need to refresh myself so much about 
all these Pokemon. What's the speed stat of Duraludon in 115? I think we'll be faster. I think we'll be faster than the Melotic. I think most Melotic are not that fast. I'm going to double into it. It has just protected, so it can't protect here. I think it's low enough health as well. Then the next turn, we... No! Oh, that psychic terrain. I forget about it every time. Every time. Every time. You'd have been better going. Safeguard. Well, oh, Mudshot coming out. Okay. Wow. Is that a crit? It's a crit. I mean, we deserve it after forgetting about the psychic terrain. And Rock Slide coming out. Oh, I mean... Okay, well, Melotic, we can... Mm. Um, right, well, we need to Moonblast. We need to Moonblast Melotic. We need to Body Press Snorlax and hope we can take a Rock Slide from the Snorlax here. I feel like the Snorlax is maybe banded. Wow, I can't believe it. I forgot about the Psychic Trainer. It's like a, such a crux in my <laughs> back catalogue of recording. I just ignore it. Be interesting to see how much this does. Not quite enough. We're going to take another Rock Slide, I think, for our troubles. The Rally don't avoid, so if Wimmy can... Yeah, Wimmy's going to take this like a champ. So, uh, depending on what my opponent's like Pokemon is, we could steal this, maybe. Because, uh, yeah, Snorlax is definitely going down to either a Moonblast this next turn or whatever Duraludon decides to chuck at it. Um, so the Wildfire wasn't the worst play in the world because it has kind of chipped everything down. Psychic Terrain finally ends and it is going to be Dragapult. Uh, so we can, we can go Tailwind and we can go Draco Meteor. Whether or not the, it's whether or not it's got Protect. If it has, then it complicates stuff, but... We'll go for it. We'll go for it. I don't think it will have. Um, there's a Tailwind. Duraludon. I don't think we even had... Yeah, we do. Of course we do. No, we don't. That's Scarfed. <gasps> we take it! Oh no! Are you kidding? <laughs> no. Oh, we do everything right. We do everything right. And then, yeah. I think it's Scarfed. Definitely Scarfed. Uh, and it's going to outspeed our Whimsicott now, so there's nothing we can do. Um, right, okay, well, we can Moonblast that. I hope a Rock Slide misses. Hopefully we... Oh, we do outspeed it. I don't think this is going to be enough. We're not very... Yeah, we're not invested enough uh, to get it. And there's a Flamethrower to take us down. Draco Meteor is the worst move in the world. The worst move in the world. I think if we hadn't made the mistake with the uh, the psychic terrain and actually just made uh, better use of Whimsicott, maybe in that turn to set the tailwind up, so we didn't have to expend the tailwind that turn, so we could have just um, got rid of the Snorlax at least, and then we would have had two turns to to deal with the the um, the Dragapult. Um, didn't expect Scarf Dragapult, but never mind. There we go. It came in clutch from my opponent right at the end. So that is interesting. Um, okay, what do we want to do now? We want to give you guys the rental code for this team. Uh, do try it out. Let me know as well. Because I really, I really enjoy this team. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a little bit different. And we're coming to kind of the end of the 2020 season right now. So it's a good time to have fun with teams. The DLC is on its way. It is going to be um, it's going to be released very soon. Very soon, obviously. We don't know an exact date right yet, right now. But I'm sure we're going to get a date very soon. What do we want to get rid of? Uh, we can't get rid of anything new. Because we've uh, and the Gengar team still kind of newish. What have we got options for? Uh, Grimmsnarl. Okay, why have we got, have we got spare teams? Manage the teams you're renting. Um, no, this isn't what, what am I doing? Manage teams to share, that's what we want to do. Why have we got like two twos? Okay, well, I need to get rid of one. I don't know what to get rid of, to be honest. I don't really want to get rid of the Grimmsnarl team. It's still kind of used, I know, by you guys. Um... I guess because it's probably the oldest, I probably should get rid of the Grim Snarl team. Uh, don't make it public. But that's fine, because what I'll do, I will... Like I said, I'm playing through my shield copy at the minute. I'm going to put all these teams over there, so you guys have access to them. Um, and we want this one. This one. Make it public. 
Ah, uh, I'm sad. I think we could have. I think we could have won that last one definitely. So it would have been two wins, but never mind. Um, bulky Charizard, something that we saw do really well in previous formats. Not obviously Gigantamax Charizard, but you know Mega Charizard um, did really well in in previous formats. So there's nothing to say it can't do well in these formats. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just quickly click my camera off so you guys can see the um, the code here. Have fun with the team. Like I say, if you do try it out, do let me know. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. It is a great team and uh, something that I think has a lot of fun for a potential f just just to have a bit of fun on the ladder, especially now before we get all these new Pokemon coming in to the format. So thank you so much for tuning in, my friends. Have a good rest of your day. I hope you're keeping well and uh, I will see you all for the next one as always. Thank you so much for all the support for the channel and uh, we'll be back with stuff and more content very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.